Hello educators, welcome again to this session. In this video session we shall be adding quiz and the type of quiz we shall add is what we call online quiz. Uh, teachers grade a lot of papers you know and one thing about websites is trying to make things easy for you. Technology is also trying to make the work easy especially when you are teaching like 40 students in a classroom and you have about five or six classes to teach in a day so on the average if you're teaching like five uh, classes with an average of 40 students you have about 200 papers to grade uh, you also have to do lesson plans and the rest of them so i understand the work okay i've been in your shoes uh, there is something I found out and I am going to share it with you. Uh, it's about online quiz. Now, this is a website that it is nice. It is. It doesn't ask you for credit card information. It is free. Uh, it will grade your quiz for you. I will talk briefly about it. Uh, before I talk about it, I would go to my... Uh, Okay, this is our website which we want to close. This is our work site. Now I'm going to go to my website, my old website, and I'll click on a test. Let me click on tests under pre algebra. And uh, if I kind of scroll down, uh, you'll see at the last uh, your online test codes from that quiz. So there's something that is called that quiz. And I kind of put it in this way. I made a, a Word document which I converted to a PDF file and I kind of did it like this uh, for the that quiz I will set the online quiz for them and give them the test code and I just put this in the website now I know you can easily import this and put on the website uh, let's go ahead and begin so where did we locate our quizzes? The quizzes is uh, under math work. Okay, so you click on quizzes and you don't have anything here. Now let's go and open up a new page and I want you to type in that quiz dot org. That quiz dot org. Okay, and there you go. So this is mainly for educators, it's very easy. You can create a quiz immediately. So teachers, it says login or create an account. So, I mean, I can log in. Uh, I hope I still remember my login details uh, at yahoo.com. And uh, I can uh, log in now if you cannot log in you just create an account and you see when I was teaching at South Lawn I had a first period class math 7 second period class literacy lab third period class pre-algebra fourth period class algebra 1 fifth period class pre-algebra seventh period class pre-algebra so I made quizzes for them now this online quiz is not to kind of take over the class test no uh, this is in, you know, in conjunction with the class test, uh, with the paper test as well. So it's so easy. You when you want to create a quiz, you can easily. There is there's a simple quiz you can easily create here, like on the go immediately, or you can also browse some tests. A lot of teachers are using this resource. You can browse their tests and import it. You can also design your own test okay now this is uh, this is kind of a presentation on its own uh, is would take time you know whereby I will have to show you how you can browse the test which means other teachers have made uh, if you browse it you see what other teachers have made and you can import it directly it tells you what kind of test it is whether it's matching or multiple choice or slides. If you look at it, you can also type in a topic. Let's say you type in fraction 
fractions and it will get you all the quiz on fractions from other teachers as well they write the teacher's name and the schools the teachers that the, and the schools that the teachers uh, teach but uh, you will play with this okay and we can talk about it fully in the classroom uh we don't have we wouldn't have time to talk about it fully online on this video then design the test means you can design your test i designed this test myself for fourth period class you can see the test i designed for uh other periods as well i kind of did this test kind of just uh making it up and it tells you the dates i did it that was last year so uh it's so much to learn about here i believe you can if you play with it you will understand it for the common tests like if you click on integers maybe arithmetic on integers uh, arithmetic it tells you this you can easily write the test name you can assign the test to all your classes in this case you will create a class new class when you create a class new class you type in the first name i wouldn't advise you to type in last name last name is optional you want to protect the privacy of your students so you type in only their first name okay uh watch out for an extra vi another video on how to use that quiz.org i in this video i'm just mentioning it just for mentioning sake but you can watch out for uh, another video on how to use the datquiz.org but on the quiz what you can easily do is i will go i go here online test goes from that quiz is here i will save it on the desktop mm. save uh, on the desktop and uh, i will just go ahead and upload it here and my students can click on it and see the codes the quiz and the dates that they are supposed to take it um, I will just come over here and I would uh, just uh, attach a paragraph I attach a paragraph here and I will say uh, online quizzes online quizzes and codes okay maybe online quizzes uh, online quiz codes online quiz codes and dates so I kind of do that I will link it as usual I will link here and I will go and upload a file. Now, before I upload a file, open a new window. I'll upload a file and find the uh, online test codes from that quiz. There you go. There is this here, and I open. Okay, and it's uploading the file. Now, uh, one thing I remember now, which I want to tell you is, is good. Yeah, there you go. I I'll just publish okay now there is something i really want to tell you if we go to the mat walk this is now the website we click quizzes and there you go and we click here and we have our quiz okay pretty easy huh? now there is something i really want to uh, talk to you about it is always good to change your powerpoint and microsoft word documents to pdf okay is always good like this is in pdf now why because uh, pdf is free uh, it's opened by adobe reader adobe reader is free is almost in every computer but the microsoft software is not free you know you don't find it in all computers so your students if you want them to have access you make all your lessons and all your quizzes all your documents convert them to pdf form because in some schools the computer software they have uh, 
for Microsoft is kind of the old software. Some are still using 2003 Microsoft Office. And if you do your test in 2007, it probably will not open it. If you don't save it in 2003-2007 document format. If you just save it as a document file, then the 2003 uh, version of Microsoft in your school computers may not be able to open it. So, if you want to avoid all these hassles about uh, some computers opening documents and some not opening, just go ahead and uh, convert all your documents to PDF. It's pretty easy to do that. And I can show you right now how to do it. Let's kind of take probability, okay? This is probability is in PowerPoint. And all I need to do, if I want it in PDF, I will just click here and then I'll save us when I save us I click on Adobe PDF and it's gonna take some time and I still want to save it on the desktop and I click Save okay now it will take some time to save it will so but it will actually save and you can now open it as PDF okay oh there you go it has finished saving already so when i go uh, it's it finished saving and it opened it already you know as pdf cool huh so uh that is what uh, is important save all your documents into pdf format okay uh thank you for listening here about putting the uh putting your quizzes using the datquiz.org website. I will talk about it extensively later in another presentation, but you can go ahead, have a heads heads up and play with it. And you can just do it as I did it, like prepare a table, put your codes, put the dates, put the title of uh, of the quiz. Okay, thank you for listening and please view other videos as well. Bye.